Hi everyone, I am Bruno Mello and I'm joined here by Layla Fulahan and Greta Doucette from MSF. Layla, if you wouldn't mind getting us started, can you tell me what exactly is your title and your general responsibilities with the organization? Absolutely. Thanks, Mello. Um, my title is Senior Marketing Manager for our peer-to-peer and live stream fundraising programs. And I uh, lead the team and our strategy to grow the program and support all of our wonderful community fundraisers. Wonderful. And Greta, if you wouldn't mind, uh, same question to you. So what's your title and what do you do with your organization? Yeah, so my title is the marketing manager for our peer-to-peer and streaming programs, and I work a lot of one-on-one with our content creators, streamers, community fundraisers, um, and help them uh, support them to fundraise for Doctors Without Borders. Very cool. I want to start off with a fun question, right? So we're at SGDQ 2023, and I know that this is not your first time around, so Layla, starting with you, if you wouldn't mind, can you tell me... How many SGDQs have you been to, and what's that experience been like? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to say that this is my eighth SGDQ. <laughs> um, it has been wonderful and definitely grown fonder and fonder over the years. Of course, we had those two years um, online right. through COVID, so we weren't on site all of the time. But yeah, it's just been an incredible experience, and to see this event grow to what it has become has been amazing to be a part of it. Yeah, and then, so this is actually my uh, sixth SGDQ, so this is my second time being on site and really, you know, coming back and getting to re-see people and see my friends that I made yeah. last year. It's just been so incredible. Yeah, yeah exactly, like lots of hugs. <laughs> it's been really fantastic. Right. Oh, thank you so much. And Layla, I want to go back and start this question off with you, and Greta, you as well. How exactly can an individual be impactful? And, you know, tell me in some ways how that can show up. Absolutely. I mean, you know, being here this week, it's so important to reiterate the fact that individual donations are so, so important and that these uh, donations this week are so Im- impactful to our projects and to our field work. So 90% of our funding comes from individual donations and that enables uh, MSF teams to be able to respond in an emergency. So the difference between MSF and other organizations is we don't have to wait for government approval or corporate approvals. The funds are there because of these um, smaller individual donations. And um, yeah, it's just really, really impactful to the work. Yeah. And, you know, like Layla said, it's every dollar matters, every dollar counts. And I think about like those, all the $5 trains that we get going that, you know, chat gets going um, throughout the entire week and what those that $5 can do, you know, um, $5 for us can buy five rapid tests to diagnose HIV infection. It is enough to uh, vaccine to immunize 13 children against measles. So it's really every dollar counts and it all adds up as well. Speaking of adding up, um, we just wanted to say that, you know, the impact of these $5 donations can add up to as much as the $3 million that was raised here last year. And that is enough to fund our programs in Iran, Egypt, and Peru. Wow. Or uh, over the last year. That's so just when you say the impact, it is certainly there. Right. Let's talk about uh, working the booth, right? Where we're sitting. What is your favorite part of the overall experience? I mean, definitely seeing everybody, but watching the runs, of course, and um, being on site, but being with the community and seeing how excited everybody is and seeing also the relationships that people have built with each other and then them meeting in person right. here. It's yeah. so exciting and getting to see our friends again, of course. Greta, what about you? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's definitely a very similar thing, um, getting to see everybody in the community and, and being a part of it here in person with everybody. Um, they all come and visit us at the booth and we yeah. get a chat about, you know, MSF and our work and also what, you know, catching up with what we've, yeah. we've been doing. Right. And I'm sure they're able to tell you, like, how you inspire them or ways that they've seen MSF show up around the world. Um, and it's truly just a wonderful thing. Now, I have one last question for you both. What are some unique ways that people can get more involved with MSF, and how would you advise them to do that? Oh, well, there's so many ways that you can get involved with MSF. I mean, definitely the website is a good place to start, but there's also working in the field recruitment. There's working in the office. Um, We have three terms of internships a year. Um, There's also a lot of ways to volunteer, and um, we have a student chapter program, as well as some advocacy that can be done and sharing some petitions and adding your signatures. But I think that we, you know, we have to say that one of the our favorite ways that people can get involved is to join our live stream fundraising program uh, that we have called Streamers Without Borders. 
So we are excited about that and Greta can. Greta, can you tell us more about that? Yes, I can. I love our Streamers Without Borders. So our Streamers Without Borders program, we really work with content creators, streamers, gamers um, to fundraise on behalf of Doctors Without Borders. We meet them where they are and help them to set up a fundraiser where they can go to their community to help raise funds for Doctors Without Borders. It is phenomenal. I'm inspired every day by all of our Streamers Without Borders. I mean, it's it's so incredible. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. And I am inspired by both of you and all of the work really that gets done at MSF. So I just want to thank you both for taking the time to work this booth and meet with me and chat about these things. Um, but other than that, it has been a fantastic time. And if you're on site at an SGDQ or if you plan to be in the future, come by the charity yes. booth, come chat. It's going to be a great time. With that said, thank you so much, everyone, and have a good day. Thank you so much, Doctors Without Borders, for all of the work you do. We all appreciate being able to partner with you for these charity events. And now we are going to hand it over to our prize team to talk, to talk about some of the prizes coming up. Prize team, let's see what we've got.